Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update February 1st, 2022. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. This is episode 494 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. It is the first day of the Lunar New Year. Usually this time of year, I take off to somewhere in Asia to visit family and friends. But for the past couple of years, for obvious reasons, it hasn't been very convenient to do so. But all the same, I want to take this opportunity to wish all of you a happy new year of the tiger. May good fortune, health, and love be abundant to you and yours. Okay, on with the show. In today's episode, Tony Leung and Wang Yipo's Nameless, could it be the next battle at Lake Changjing? Jackie Chan's Ride On announces a premiere date and releases a funny trailer. Huang Xiaoming and Angela Baby's Three No's. And Lin Zhiling becomes a mom at 47. And we usually begin with dramas that have recently premiered, but nothing to report for today and yesterday. So we move on to dramas that have confirmed their February premiere dates. So far, there are four. Firstly, Hello the Sharpshooter is an upcoming modern sports drama starring Hui Tian and Fair Singh, and it confirmed a February 2nd premiere. That's tomorrow. Hello, the sharpshooter follows an intern sports reporter, played by Fair Singh, who falls for a competitive shooting champ, played by Hui Tian, who just doesn't seem to want to give her the time of day. Eventually, though, they get together and push each other to achieve glory in their respective fields. The drama will premiere on Tencent. Next up, also a modern sports drama, To Our Dreamland of Ice, stars Chen Ruoxuan, Peng Xiaoran, Ou Hao, and Liang Jie, and it's confirmed a February 5th premiere. The drama follows two stories, the first of which is set in 1980, and follows a couple of figure skaters played by Chen Ruoxuan and Peng Xiaoran. The second is set in 2019, and follows a couple of speed skaters played by Ou Hao and Liang Jie. The stories are connected in that Oh Hao's character is Chen Ruoxuan's character's son. To Our Dreamland of Ice will premiere across all the major Chinese streaming platforms. Also confirming a February 5th premiere is The Autumn Ballad, a costume drama starring Jeremy Xu and Bridget Chiao. According to Baidu, Bridget Chiao plays the least favorite daughter of the Chiu Manor. She meets a cold-faced duke played by Jeremy Xu, and they go from butting heads to finding love and happiness with each other. The Autumn Ballad will premiere on Tencent. Lastly, Why Women Love Why Women Love is an upcoming modern drama starring Jinna Jin and Wang Ziyi, and it's confirmed a February 8th premiere. As Baidu explains it, the drama follows a young aspiring racer, played by Wang Ziyi, who falls for a tech company's successful chairwoman, played by Jinna Jin, after becoming her assistant. It will premiere on Yuku. So four dramas confirmed to premiere in the next few days. Which ones are you looking forward to? I will update again on where to watch them with English subs, if available, whether on YouTube, WeTV, IQ.com and so on, after they premiere. And that's it for drama news. Moving on, some film news. We begin with this Sohu article I came across that I thought I'd share with you guys. It's entitled, Wang Yipo's Nameless. Over 100,000 people want to watch it. It could be the next battle at Lake Changjing. And when they say 100,000 people, they mean 100,000 people on Tao Piao Piao, which is an online ticket distributor. And they're using that as an indicator of how highly anticipated the movie is. The real number of people who want to watch the movie is of course much higher. Nameless stars Tony Leung and Wang Yipo. It is set in the 1940s during the War of Resistance and follows the many nameless agents who risk their lives to deliver intelligence to their leaders. It is the third installment of a trilogy that includes Chinese doctors and the battle at Lake Changjing. In case you haven't heard, the battle at Lake Changjing became the highest grossing film in Chinese cinema history. So the Soho article's take is that with the combination of Tony Leung and Wang Yipo, Nameless could be the next battle at Lake Changjing in terms of box office success. It could be. You have two stars from different generations. 
a nationalistic theme so it's going to be heavily promoted. And it's part of a series that has already proven to be very successful. The movie wrapped in December last year and is expected to be released sometime this year. Tony Leung last starred in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Wang Yibo last starred in the drama Luoyang. In other film news, Jackie Chan's Ride On has announced a premiere date of December 31st, 2022. That's 11 months away. I had to double and triple check the date. I don't think I've ever seen a movie announce a premiere date so far in advance. In any case, they've also released a trailer and it's hilarious. Jackie plays a former stuntman who is at risk of losing his most reliable friend, his horse, and has no choice but to ask his estranged daughter, played by Liu Haochun, for help. Guo Qiling plays the daughter's boyfriend, who in this scene is getting the third degree from Jackie's character. The minute-long trailer is available to view on YouTube. I urge you guys to check it out if you want to chuckle. And before we get to celebrity news, a word on this video's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. It offers creative classes that cover a wide range of topics like photography, cooking, and language, and they're designed to fit your schedule and skill level. They're always launching new premium classes, and there are no ads. I checked out Katrina Lee's Super Easy Mandarin for Beginners and found it to be like the title suggests, Super Easy. Those of you who've been wanting to learn Mandarin for a while, you can take the plunge with Skillshare. The first thousand of my subscribers to click on the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Next up, celebrity news, and we begin with a quick tidbit. Here's Chang Ruoyun's response when he was asked about the Joy of Life sequel. Recently, Chang Ruoyun appeared at a spring festival gala dressed in a red suit. He was asked when audiences will get to see the Joy of Life sequel, and responded, It's being rushed. It's being rushed. Certainly hope it is. Joy of Life Season 1 ended on a major cliffhanger. The final episode came out on January 1st, 2020. Since then, many viewers, myself included, have been waiting for the sequel. And despite much talk about it, it hasn't officially begun filming yet. Next up, a follow-up to Huang Xiaoming and Angela Baby's divorce. Here's a January 30th Sina article entitled, Huang Xiaoming and Angela Baby's Divorce Details Revealed. They separated two years ago and reached a three no's agreement. On January 28th, Huang Xiaoming and Angela Baby confirmed their divorce after seven years of marriage. That afternoon, Hong Kong media outlets reported on some agreements they'd come to. According to these reports, the two stars had already separated for two years and had already figured out asset division and child custody. They had also reached a three no's agreement, no fighting for children, no fighting for assets, and no ill-intentioned words. Regarding the first point about children, they reached a consensus to raise their son by co-parenting and would not let him know about the divorce for the time being. Regarding the second, assets, the two have always managed their own finances independently, so asset division is no problem. And regarding the third, no ill-intentioned words, it's for the two to keep their private space, to keep family affairs within the family, and to make sure their son can grow up in a healthy environment. Like I said in my previous video, it's a sad thing, this divorce, but I must commend Huang Xiaoming and Angela Baby for the way they've handled it in the public eye. We've seen how nasty celebrity divorces can be, but in this case, it's quite clear what their priorities are, the family. In fact, when they announced their divorce on the 28th, their message was, grateful for everything in the past, still a family in the future. And lastly, for celebrity news, congratulations is in order as Lin Ling announces she's become a mother. 47-year-old Taiwanese model and actress Lin Ling took to social media yesterday to announce the new addition to her family. She shared a picture of fingers, small and big, and added the message, Thank you for coming into our family. She didn't reveal the baby's gender. Lin Zhiling married 40-year-old Japanese pop star Akira in 2019, and the couple live in Japan. Since they got married, Lin Zhiling cut back considerably on her showbiz activities, presumably to focus on adding new members to the family. Well, it's worked. Happy for them. 
And on that note, it's Tuesday today, so time for another segment of Where's Marcus At? So the title of the segment doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. I'm currently following two dramas. I'm on episode 24 of Because of Love, starring Wallace Chung and Li Xiaoran. Still enjoying the drama very much, and I'm quite close to the end now, just 6 episodes away. I'm going to speak a little cryptically here so I don't give away any spoilers. In the past few episodes, the drama has taken a bit of a turn that I didn't really like. It has to do with one character's mental condition. Those of you who are following the drama will know what I'm talking about. I don't know how much research they did on that mental condition. I looked it up and it is a real thing, but I'm just not sure if that's how it plays out. It's obviously a plot device so that other things can happen, and I understand that. You know, plot devices like these are oftentimes part and parcel of the drama experience. And don't get me wrong, I'm still enjoying the drama and excited to see how it ends. It's just that everything felt so real and believable up until that point. But I'll just leave it at that, don't want to give too much away. And I'm on episode 10 of Gold Panning starring Liao Fan and Arthur Chen. I'm following it on IQ.com where it's available with English subs. And that's been another segment of Where's Mark Is At? It also brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page where for a dollar more a month, you have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.